All right, pulling out the brake pins on an Alice Chalmers C. And this is probably the same uh, uh, type of brakes that are on a C or a CA or a B. But uh, these pins to hold the brake drum come through this side. And on this side, they're in a blind hole. So what I did was drill through the casting right there and right there. The whole reason is so I can get a drift to push the pin out this way. Now I already took off the clips that are right here and right there. So with the drift, if I push, it should pop out that side. Now I've already covered these and filled these holes with uh, PB blaster and heated and cooled the casting a few times and I think they're loose uh, not loose but I think I broke them free so now I'm going to uh, drive them out and see if that works so again that hole is only um, probably about a quarter of an inch deep and you'll know when you go through because there's space between the casting and the pin so you'll know right away when you actually make it through. In fact, uh, let me get a flashlight. It will be worth our time to see that. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay. If you see inside, there's a good picture. The casting stops about uh, a half of an inch before the pin begins. See, that's an even better picture. That little puddle is PB Blaster. So when you drill through, you'll know when you make it through the casting. See right there? So that's how deep the casting is. So you go through that, that's about a um, 5 16 hole, maybe a little bit bigger. And uh, that should be enough to get a drift and push that stupid pin out of there. All right, let's give it a whirl. All right. Let's set up my fancy camera holder. Let's make sure I drive those things out of there. All right, see what's happening there? This bracket is stuck to the pin. So I've got to come up with a way to get this bracket off of that pin. This is going to be tricky without uh, busting this pin. Maybe put a spacer right here and keep drifting it out. Well, let me finish up with this pin and we'll go the other side. And once you get it so far, you really can't get it any farther with a drift because the angle, you're not aiming for the pin anymore. So that's about all the farthest I'm going to break this one off. But now I can pull this band back, grab onto this, and pull it out. I'll have to get back to that one. Let's try the other side. Well, I know this back one is barely moving before, so. Let's see if letting it sit for a little bit helps. Stop. 
that one's really easy. Well, that one popped right out. That one's really stuck. It is really stuck. I'm gonna have to heat this one up again. <laughs> I love it. You can feel it when it starts to move and it completely changes how it sounds. I love it. Here we go. All right. Again, that's the farthest you can go in because of the angle of that, that, that drift is down. But once you get it out to this far, you have a lot of different options. You could even uh, weld something onto this and twist it out. Or weld something on and use a slide hammer. But uh, yeah, we're set now. Okay, all I got to do is come up with the way to uh, get that bracket off of there, but I'll come up with something. Alrighty.